The idea of God comes out of ignorance. Science today is explaining the things that primitive man held to be of the gods. Noah and the ark, Jonah and the whale. How can you teach that and expect anyone to take you seriously? We're not against things like God and prayer. It's just that they have no place in institutions of higher learning. Most of the great pioneers of psychology looked upon Western religions and biblical moral standards as the cause of most of today's psychological problems. It's our responsibility to the students to prepare them to live in the real world, to help them to stand on their own two feet. At some point, they have to recognize things like Santa Claus, Jesus, and Superman for the fiction they are, and to start looking to themselves to solve their problems. If it were up to me, I'd fail any kid who didn't believe in evolution, and I'd be doing him a favor. Passing him would be like sending him on to algebra when he didn't believe 2 plus 2 equals 4. Darwin demonstrated very nicely that we don't have to make up some great general contractor in the sky in order to get a handle on life in our universe. Sigmund Freud, the father of modern psychology, said it best. Religion is the great obsession of neuroses of our day. We really have to wean our students away from dependence on such drivel. At first, we didn't mind some of the English classes studying the Bible as literature, but we had to eliminate that. There were some who wanted to take the book literally. It's a very dangerous book. It teaches narrow-mindedness and breeds wild-eyed fascism. Today, anyone with any competence realizes that God is just a catch-all word in which man puts things he doesn't understand. Well, science is clearing up all of the mysteries. Seventy percent of young people who have been raised in the church will reject their Christian faith during their high school and college years. That's seventy percent evangelicals. That's Bible-believing young people. If the Christian faith is not true, then the rejection is as natural as coming to understand the truth about Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. However, if their Christian worldview is true, then they have departed from the truth into error and confusion. Dr. Norman Geisler, author of the book, false gods of our time. The goal of this film series is to examine the evidence. Our objective is to show that there are sound intellectual reasons for the faith our young people have made a commitment to. We want to stimulate them to think through their faith and to know what they believe and why.